What is up guys? Before we get into today's video, I got two quick announcements. As promised, time to give away our Jam Classic 2.0. Let's get right to it. The winner is Ben Chavales. Yup, Ben, you're the winner. Set up a time to get you your speaker. Thanks for playing and we'll let you know on future giveaways. And our second thing here. As you know, it's bracket time. This is way late. It's down to the final four already. But Zach and I both filled out a bracket on time before it started. We promise. And it's a close one. I have a 70-point lead, but the games right now are worth tons of points. I only have Michigan left. I picked them winning it all. Zach only has Villanova left. He picked them winning it all. So it's basically down to those two teams to decide who wins. This is a duel. The winner will get the belt. So I'll have a quick picture of those two so you can check out what we picked. All right, here's the pictures. That should just about do it. Enjoy the video. All right, we got one of the biggest Let's Do fans out here riding along with us today. He's also Zach's teammate for wrestling. Zach. So, Dom, what's up? Not much. I love you guys, though. Yeah, that's right, man. So, he'll be tagging along in us to this video. Zach, where's it at? Right here. Hey! Let's go. We are here at the border battle of wrestling. Minnesota versus Iowa. That's right. Zach, what weight are you wrestling today? I'm wrestling 220. 220 weight for Zach. He's going to kick some butt today. Going to get the W. So yeah, Minnesota versus Iowa. Border battle down in Cresco, Iowa. This should be good. We'll keep you posted. Whoa! Right now we're going to check out the Wrestling Hall of Fame here in Cresco. Supposedly this town has won so many wrestling state championships. 66. Woo! They have 66 state champions. Whoa, check out this mural up here, guys. Woo! Hey, Tom, what's up? What's up, dude? You get some food. Hey, Doc, how's the deep fried twiggy? Daddy. <laughs> <Bad. laughs> that's like the biggest shake I've ever seen. Let's go, my dude. I literally spent almost six hours on that.
watch a win down? Oh, yeah. Guys, a little tired. Chris, a little sore. Better boy. Hey. Who'd you do that for? Who'd you do that for? Hey. Fans of Let's Duel. Hey. Girlfriend Cassie. Hey. Thanks for the support. Love you. Oh, yeah. My parents. Let's Great go. Guy. Drive home safely. About to make this in the bay. Okay. Hey. In the trash can, Dom. Let's go. Well, just finished up our border battle. Iowa got the win, but more importantly, my boy Zach picked up the win for Let's Duel. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I gotta come in with that signature uh, leg trip. You know, let's go, guys. Let's go. Woo! Ah. Hello, guys. And welcome to our first official therapy session with Let's Duel. That's right. We're here to help you through the rough parts. What do so, we got today, man? Our first question comes from someone who wants to remain anonymous. All right, all right, fair enough. They said to me, Okay, um, what is the best way to let a guy down when he's interested in you, but you're not interested in him? Wow. Well, I'm glad we're, well, see, we're dudes here, so like, that doesn't help anything. But we are going to give our best shot here. So, one way that girls have always turned me down. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> one that works every time. Either, like, there's this one time where I was talking to this girl's friend. Oh, my popcorn's done. Bro, we're trying to... Ouch! Oh, it's just on my toe. Ow. I'm so sorry about this, guys. We're still working out the kinks. Dude. Gotta have your popcorn, am I right? Or am I right? But no, there's this one time. True story. There's this time I like this girl. And she... Well, I was texting her best friend. And her best friend's like, Ooh, sorry, she's... You didn't hear it? And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, she just came out of the closet. And so I just was like... For real? Yeah. And I went, like, the next, like, five or six months believing that. And then I asked the girl, and she's like, oh, no, that, that, that wasn't true, so... Well, that cleared a lot of things up. Ah, man. Um... I, I mean, there's the obvious... I mean, maybe it's not so obvious, but, like, be up front with them. Although, maybe girls Why don't you like be up front with someone? I mean, I feel Since like... Since when 
Are girls ever upfront about not liking someone? Maybe, I, are they too nice? They don't want to let the guy down or something? I, I think so. I don't know, like... This is a weird one. Like, it'd be nice if we were girls, but sorry, I can't help you there. I mean, what, I guess in my scenario, like, let's put, like, I guess, all right, let's just go, I'm a guy, and there's a girl who likes me, but I'm trying to let her down. Or, like, I'm trying to get her off, but she's still coming at me, you know? I feel like, me as an individual would just be up front with it, but I guess that's not how girls work. I don't know, like, do you want to respect the guy when you're letting him down, saying that you're not interested, or do you want to be a jerk about it? I guess it's kind of up to you on that, like. I guess I'd just go total jerk, you know, and just either ghost him, key his car, throw mud on his car. Um, well, there's one opinion. Leave me notes in his locker. Um, so there's that, or you can just be up front with them and... Hey! Huh. Butter? Yeah, butter. Oh, yeah. You butter believe it. Hey! <laughs> <Go, bro. laughs> um, yeah, no, if I was in this situation, and let's say I was a girl... And a guy like me, and I was totally not interested in him whatsoever. I get kind of like this vibe when, like, you like a girl and she doesn't like you. She kind of is, like, really disgusted with you. So I guess you should just go around and find things that, like, annoy the crap out of you that he does. And just go out of your way just to figure out what he does. That to try to... Hey! It's my popcorn. <laughs> this is my apartment. <laughs> but, yeah, just go around trying to find, like, um... Things that, like, annoy you or, like, like, if there's this deodorant that he wears and he's, like, trying to be, like, you know, just say this, like, I'm the guy, Steven's girl. He could be, like, you know, hey, babe, what's going on? Just got this new deodorant. Cool. You want to smell it? No! No! Oh, why not? It smells really good. Oh. See, and just, like, pretend to die, you know? Um, that's always, that's always good when you pretend to die. Yeah, and then problem solved, man. Um, dead. Or what you, oh man, this one works every single time. You could ask your entire friend group what to say, get all their advice on it, That's and true. then have one of your friends text them telling him that you don't like him. Oh. I like that game plan right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk to the people you know best, closest friends, hash it out. Hey, they're always going to be looking out for your best interest because, you know, they're close friends, so... Mm -hmm. Yep. Might be all we got on that subject. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. But yep, no, just to let you know, this is our professional advice, uh, but we are not liable for anything that goes wrong. So if you end up maybe sending those hate, hate letters in the locker room, probably wouldn't do that one, but... <laughs> no, you can't. I'd do it. You know, just... <laughs> not liable. <laughs> don't look at us! <laughs> you know, don't go back saying like, oh, let's duel told us to... You know, but yeah, no... Yeah, if you guys have any more comments, concerns, questions, anything, guys, we'll take it all. Maybe in a future video, we'll talk about yours. So, thanks for tuning in, and until next time...